What's good guys, Fancy Joe back here on Mock Draft Monday. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. You're going to want to make sure you subscribe. Just posted my league winners. They are coming out. Ton of views on my week one rankings already. Check those out if you want to get your lineup set right for week one. I answer start sits there as well busts, values, all that stuff, so check out my channel, and we will keep you going with good fantasy content throughout the season to help you bring that championship home from your draft season. So let's hop into this draft, typical league format, two wide receivers, two backs, one tight end flex, and quarterback. Let's get into this draft from the 107, so we can see how it starts off. It goes Jefferson, Chase, Hill, Robinson, McCaffrey, and Cup all off the board. The pick for me is pretty easy, or not the high tiers, high draft to players. It's pretty easy for me here at this point in the draft. It's Austin Eckler. If you give him to me at the 107, even the 105, I think he's a great value of both positions. Give me some Austin Eckler. Uh, they have every incentive to run him into the ground basically this season. Give me Tony Pollard. I think he's going to get an absolute ton of volume in that backfield there. We can see how the draft board falls after that. So you can see I take... Pollard and what happened after I took Eckler so we're coming back around here in the third round got two stud backs I do like DK this year I think he'll catch a lot of touchdowns especially I think he can get off to a hot start with the situation with JSN at the beginning of the season over he was second in the league in wide receiver targets in the red zone for and what and targets in the red zone for a wide receiver DK was and only had six touchdowns. I expect that to be closer to double digits this season. Taking a look at who's still available, I'm going to snag Kenneth Walker here in the fourth round. I think he's just falling a little too far. Mm, between Kenneth Walker and Christian Watson for me. Um, Gosh, this is tough. This is tough. I feel like Kenneth Walker, though, is a tier above a lot of the receiver, or running backs, excuse me, that are still available. So I'm going to take him, and we're going to see how the team turns out. The quarterbacks are just absolutely flying off the board here. We can check out the board again so everyone can see it. Let's go back here. Okay. With the wide receivers still available, I'll snag Brandon Ayuk here. Uh, definitely thought about Terry McLaurin. His injury situation scares me a little bit, though, currently, and I'd like to get off to this season with a hot start. Right now, if I didn't have him, uh, if I didn't have DK, Tyler Lockett would be my draft pick here. I think he's an absolute stud, great value. Um... Taking a look at who's still out there, though, I'm tempted to take Chris Godwin. I am also think I'm going to take Tre uh, Trevor Lawrence is like the last guy in that tier to me that I think will be in that top eight that will establish himself and potentially make that tier jump. But there's guys I don't hear like Kirk Cousins, Geno Smith that I like. Um, you know what? I am going to take Trevor Lawrence here. I was going to pass on him, but... Give me the advantage of the quarterback position. Give me the guy who can run the ball a little bit. Uh, he's not Lamar Jackson by any means, but he'll add some points on the ground. And then taking a look at who is still out there, I'll take Khalil Herbert here. Honestly, in hindsight, maybe I wouldn't have taken Kenneth Walker. I probably would have gone with Christian Watson, knowing I could have gotten someone like Khalil Herbert later in the draft. And I started my draft with Eckler and Pollard. But DK and Ayuk, I don't mind as my uh, receivers. And I just have a really strong... Oh, we've got two flex spots in this league, uh, so I don't mind. I think the RBs are going to be a little bit more consistency, so I enjoy that aspect of it. Um, but, yeah, I might have taken a few more wide receivers earlier. But, honestly, taking a look at who is available now, Jordan Addison's out there. I'll snag him up. I think he could have a big impact. Uh, and I was this was hoping Gabe Davis would get back to me, and he does, which is absolutely awesome. Addison, though, I was going to say, uh, Adam Thielen ran the second most routes in football last year. Had over 100 targets, did very little with them. I think Jordan Addison gets a similar usage, if not potentially more, because he should be more efficient. He's a great route runner, and he should get open. Uh, I think he could have a substantial role as a rookie. And I'll snag Gabe Davis, who is the number two on that wide receiver on that offense. Gets used deep down the field. Gets a decent amount of targets. Played last year with a high ankle sprain. I think he is a post-hype sleeper that I think could hit. I think he's just falling too far in drafts. 
for me to be not be comfortable taking him. Tight end is really thinned out. Let me give you guys a look at the draft board again just so everyone can see how things have been going, where we're at. People are taking kickers now, which I don't know what's going on there. Uh, um, Yeah, that's weird. They don't see them usually do that. Okay, Antonio Gibson's still on the board, who I do like his upside. Let me take a shot, though, on Zay Flowers. I really like him this season. Okay, I guess this was just a 10-round draft. I'm a little confused by this one, but uh, it really doesn't matter a whole lot after there. I would have just taken, you know, the shot on tight end. Really took to take a lot of shots on wide receivers, as you can see at the end of the draft. But I do like the start of the team. we got Trevor Lawrence, Eckler, Tony Pollard, DK, Brandon Ayuk, Kenneth Walker, Khalil Herbert, and then, like I said, we've got these back or these wide, wide receivers on the bench Addison Gabe Davis Zay Flowers to round it out I think we've got upside guys on the bench still who can fill in for that wide receiver two flex spots on bye weeks things like that but I really like the backs and the consistency that we're going to get um, from this team and having guys like Trevor Lawrence and DK that can com- get contribute on those other parts obviously if I known into in such a short draft maybe I would have snagged a tight end at some point um, but you can do that in rounds 10 through 15 in a normal, normal draft with your friends and family. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, stick around, check out all the other videos. Please hit that like button and comment really helps out the algorithm. And if you have any start sets, any fantasy football questions, just leave them in the comment section and I will respond. As always, this has been Fantasy Joe. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time.